On the 2nd of March, 2011, my beloved son Oliver died while he was on a swimming lesson in the King David Pool in Liverpool from a cardiac arrest. By 12 o'clock, we had the call to say that Oliver had had a seizure while he was swimming and was on his way to I wasn't prepared for the horrors that were waiting for me there when I got there. It was put down to SADS or sudden arithmetic death syndrome. And that is the electrical side of your heart just switches off like a light switch. It shows no signs, it shows no symptoms, and that's why we use so many young people across the country every week. memorable day for what has happened here in the school as a pioneering school as you know it is through your teachers through the pupils through the headmaster and your parents because really you are setting the future for all the schools on Wirral because you are the first to have these defibrillators and I have to say what Mark is doing in memory of his son is absolutely incredible and outstanding it comes from his heart because not only is this to protect all of our hearts, it was about his own son and what had happened and how he would never want to see that happen to anybody again, any other young child like yourself, and most importantly for any parent or school to go through the same thing. For me, it's a real honour that here on Wirral we've listened to the campaign We've seen what good it can do for the future, and we've embraced it. The foundation have put nearly 600 of these defibrillators out, and we've saved three children's lives. A four-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a 14-year-old have been saved. All these machines. You evaluate your heartbeat, and it'll tell you whether you need a shock or not. Stand by. Preparing to shock. Everyone clear. Press flashing button. Shock delivered. And that's how Remind easy it is. chest compressions and rescue breath. And that's how easy it is to save a life. And I've got no doubt in my mind that if there was a defibrillator at the poolside on the 2nd of March, my elbow would be here today with me.